Hello community. On the left side we have BART, now that it is available for the very first time in Europe. And on the right side we have here a Guanaco model, a 65B model, or you can have a Llama model or a Blue model. But let's have a look at what BART can do and what here a Guanaco 65B model can do on pedals. And if you do not know pedals, like I discovered them today, I have here this article, July 11th, 2023. Paddles is a decentralized inference and fine tuning of large language models. And they have also here a Jupyter notebook to show how it runs. So I'm just starting to explore this, but let's have this demo. This demo has the first question here, very easy. Write a poem about love between a man and some bees and how he plants flowers, especially for those bees and has his garden full of little places for birds and other animals. So I have here paddles here. I mean, this is distributed, not a supercomputer. We have 3.6 tokens per second, not bad. The sun shines in his garden, on his garden fair, a heaven for bees and birds in the air. While flowers are plenty, swaying in the breeze, he tends to each one with gentle ease. He speaks to the bees with a gentle tone, and they respond with their dance, their own tune. They gather the nectar so sweet and so pure from the garden flowers he plants for them with care, sure. He watches the bird as they fl flit and they sing. They find food and water, everything just right. He smiles as he sees the beauty they bring to his garden so green with life so delight. And that's nice. So, and what can here our supercomputer do? A little garden of my own I have where bees are loved and known, and where each blossom seems to say, come little bee and feast away. I have no flowers for ladies' eyes, but such as bees and butterflies will love to sip with buzzy hums and carry home to store in gums. I have no beds of stately rose, no lilies fair or tulips pose, but all my borders are aglow with flowers of simple you and low. I have no fountain splashing cool, no arbor's cool or shady pool, but here and there a rustic seat, and here and there a little street of mossy bricks where birds may build, and squirrels come to play and wilt. Bees hum and butterfly may rest, all the garden seems a nest. Ah! And so I love my garden well. Yeah, I do. I love the bees that come to dwell within its borders, and I know that they will love me. I know too. For I have planted flowers for them and made my garden sweet to them, and I have never harmed a bee and will never, I hope, you see. So, next question. Describe the foundations of human values based on the literature from the earliest 20th century. So, let's see. Bard is sinking. Bard is still sinking. Wow, this is quite fast. Quite fast. Individual freedom and autonomy, search of meaning and purpose in life, the power of love and compassion, work of literature, Virginia Woolf, 1925, Scotch Farrell, yes, Ernest Hemingway, T.S. Eliot. Mm -hmm. So, while well, here we are just generating 3.5 tokens per second. Oh, sorry. Uh, I should not have touched here. It's sinking. Just take your time, my little one. Slowly take your time. But it's nice. It says one of the most influential theory of the time was utilitarianism, who holds that the greatest good for the greatest number of people should be the guiding principle of society. According to this theory, the ultimate good of human values is to maximize happiness and minimize suffering. Another important theory was pragmatism, which holds that truth is determined by its practical consequences. According to pragmatism, human value should be based on what works best in practice rather than an abstract philosophical theory. In addition to these philosophical theories, the early 20th century also saw the development of sociological theories that attempt to explain human values in terms of social structure and institutions. One of the most influential of these theories was functionalism, 
which holds that social institutions have evolved to meet the needs of society, that human values are shaped by this institution. Finally, yes, here we go, the early 20th century saw also the development of existentialism, which holds that human values are subjective and that individuals have the freedom to choose their own values. According to existentialism, there are no objective values, and individuals must create their own meaning and purpose in life. These are just a few of the theories that were developed in the earliest 20th century. It's important to note were not universally accepted, and there are many other theories and perspectives that have a significant influence on the understanding of human values. I like this a lot of, so I have to read this. Wolf, yeah, Auton Freedom, Search for Meaning, Purpose of Life, Elliot. This is focusing more on specific persons uh, who wrote literature, while this here is more on the general foundation, I think here in this particular case, Paddles, Guanaco 65B, won 10 points. Okay, now we have this. Write the first 16 prime numbers and then divide them by the next prime number after themselves. I hardly understand this, so no idea if Bart is gonna do this. Both are thinking. Oh, here we go. The first 16 prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Yes, 47, 53. Okay. <laughs> 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hey, 16. Okay. <laughs> 2 divided by 3, 3 divided by 5, 5 divided by 7, 7 divided by 11, 11 by 13. Unbelievable. Again, a win for Guanaco, 65B. This here gets it right. Absolutely. This is exactly what the exercise was. Because to tell me only the visible by itself and one, but the next prime number after itself, the question will always be one. I say, okay, make the actual mathematical operation in Python and show me all the results. Yes, beautiful. So you see the first prime divided by the second prime is not one. You're right, the first prime divided by the second prime is not one. The result is 0 0.6 periodic, which is a floating point number. No, yes, this is because two is not divisible by three. Uh, the floating point, uh, yes, thank you. I apologize for the confusion. I was mistaken when I said that the quotient of a prime number but it is itself. This is only true if the prime numbers are consecutive. If the prime numbers are non-consecutive, if the prime numbers are consecutive. Nonsense, the prime numbers are consecutive. Therefore, your argument is wrong. You are correct. The prime number consecutive negotiation is not one. My argument are wrong. I apologize for my mistake. I'm still under development. I'm learning to be more accurate in my responses. I'll try the best to avoid mistakes, the same mistakes in the future. Okay, so I think Bart, the first day in Europe, still has a lot to learn. I mean, it just got here one answer more or less right and two answers completely not optimal. And I have to say the winner is here, Guanaco 65B in Petals. So thank you for Petals here for providing here this open source free for everybody link. The address is jet.petals.ml for machine learning. And you have here a demo running here, Guanaco 65B, or let's go to Bloom. Okay, so I think here you have it. Bart against here, uh, Petal. And again, if you want to learn more about Petal, here I re recommend this. 
If you have a better link for me to help me understand pedals, please leave the link or some information in the description for, of this video for the community. I think this is really an interesting approach. And here, a free 65 billion parameter model here that is not run on a single supercomputer center, cloud-based, is really an interesting approach I would love to explore a little bit more. So I say thank you. This was it for today. Enjoy it. And maybe, maybe I see you in my next video.